Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We just finished pouring this foundation for a one-sided ICF forming system called the Nadura One Series. There's other block companies that have a similar product, so it doesn't have to be specific to one brand, but we want to show you how we did a cold joint in the wall. And the reason we did the cold joint, A, was we didn't need as much plywood to, to get the job done, and B, if you have a bigger project or taller walls, you're gonna to need to have and pour those in multiple lifts and you gotta be able to do it in a nice clean fashion. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this wall looks pretty darn good, but if you look really close, you can tell that right here, we actually went from one pour to the next. And basically I wanna show you how to do it yourself and how we form this up. So let's just run over to the shop and I'll show you a few things on how we built it. in the shop. <laughs> so before I give Mike's idea away on the cold joint, I do want to mention that we are getting a little more organized with the channel. So down below in the comments, we just have a whole bunch of different links that are available, affiliate links for just uh, clothes and gear that we wear every day, tools that we use on the job every single day. Um, our Patreon channel, we're going to start putting on some exclusive content there. And these, these links will be across any video on our channel that you watch, so it doesn't have to be this specific one. And so just stay tuned for that. We have some courses coming up in the future, so they might be available down below. Okay, with that said, here's what the cold joint formwork would have looked like on site. Um, it was pretty simple. Rather than using a two by six ribbon, we used a two by four. We made an L tie with a one by four on top. Now, Mike ripped off a half an inch off of here. So this is just three inches wide. And the reason we did that is when we pour the concrete, we just wanna make sure that the concrete can rise up all the way to the top and we don't get air trapped or the concrete can actually flow up to the very top. So we just cut this shorter. If this is too long, then you might get an air pocket and it would cause that cold joint to look like garbage. So keep that just nice and short. Concrete can fill up. And then as long as the concrete's just a little bit higher, this whole backside when you fill it can look all look whatever, however you want it to look. It doesn't have to be perfect. But because we have this form work nice tight in here, the concrete doesn't come up higher than this form ply. It's set back and then later we strip this all out. Then we stack our next row up. So this row of ply stays. The foam obviously always stays. We just keep stacking up and then when we do, we do a two by six ribbon here again, and plywood's just tight, on, just tight together, and that concrete line is just perfectly along that plywood seam. So that's how we did that cold joint. I think it's a great idea. The reason we did it on this, this particular job is because I didn't want to go and buy oh, twice as much form ply as I needed. I actually calculated I needed probably 30% less form ply, and I just did it in two lifts rather than just a four foot frost wall and then nine feet all the way up. So that's how we did that. Hope that's a good idea for you guys at home. Stay tuned, keep watching. Thanks for tuning in. Cody fashion, I always gotta add a little tidbit in afterwards and, and it's just in case I wasn't clear enough you guys, this is a pre-assembled L tie. We use the two inch hex head screws and that way when you set it up here, these don't, they're not a regular screw. So these you can pull out if there's concrete on them. And when you screw into here, you, you can't overhang anything on this side because when you're bracing and your shields come up, you can't have anything beyond the inch and a half thickness. So yeah, you just fasten this on. We always line everything up with the snap ties so that the shields don't get interrupted by screws. And yeah, that's just a little more info for you. Until next time.